the sun, with all the planets revolving around it and depending on it, can still rip in a bunch of grapes as true it had nothing else in the universe to do. Galileo Our sun, its big glowing gas ball, compressed primarily of hydrogen that is fusing to helium atoms. In the core of the sun, hydrogen is being converted into helium. This is called nuclear fusion. It takes four hydrogen atoms to fuse into each helium atom. During this process, some of the mass is converted into energy. Our sun fuses six million tons of hydrogen into helium and transforms four million tons of substance into energy. It also produces light and heat, which takes 10,000 to 170,000 years to escape its core. The sun is massive compared to our planets, but is actually quite average next to other stars. The radius of the sun is 696,340 kilometers. It's 277 times larger than Mercury. 21 million Mercury-sized planets could fit inside the sun. There are bigger stars in the universe than our sun. We have found stars that are 100 times bigger in diameter and we also found stars are just one tenth of the size of our sun. For example, Aldebaran is a red giant located 65 light years away. It is 44 times larger than our sun and 400 times more luminous. 86,350 suns could fit inside Aldebaran. Another giant star is Regal. It's a blue supergiant located 864.3 light years away. It is 75 times larger than our sun and 100,000 times more luminous. We can fit 474,552 suns inside Regal. The very first person to have attempt to calculate the size of the Sun was Aristarchus of Samos, a Greek mathematician and astronomer from 3rd century. He used the correct geometric principle, but made some slightly incorrect measurements based on observation he made from Earth without any instruments. His estimate of the size of the Sun turned out to be wrong, but paved the way from future attempts. European Space Agency and NASA has captured the dynamic movement of the Sun's atmosphere for over 20 years. Here is the sound of our Sun. temperature of our sun. The center of the sun is about 15 million Kelvin. Radioactive zone temperature swells from about 7 million to about 2 million Kelvin across this zone. Convection zone drops from 2 million Kelvin to 5800 Kelvin in this zone. Photosphere about 5,800 Kelvin, although sunspots are about 3,800 Kelvin, that's why they are dark. Chromosphere, 4,300 to 8,300 Kelvin from inside edge to outside edge. The sun will become much larger in the future. There will come a time when the balance between the nuclear engines pushing inwards and the gravitational forces pulling inward will be destabilized. As soon as the Sun has consumed the most of its hydrogen reserve, 
the surface of the Sun will progressively expand to a size that covers the entire orbit of Mars. NASA and other agencies monitor the Sun 24-7 with a fleet of spacecraft, probing everything, even peering inside the Sun with the instrument. Spacecraft exploring the Sun include Parker Solar Probe, Solar Orbiter, SOHO, ACE, IRIS, WIND, INOTE, Solar Dynamic Observatory and STEREO. The Sun has enough nuclear fuel to stay much as it now for another 5 billion years. The Sun was born about 4.6 billion years ago. Many scientists think that the Sun and the rest of the solar system formed from a giant rotating cloud of gas and dust. 